Whoa, it's the CU Podcast! Disclaimers. Last time on Total Pokemon Galaxy Games, our contestants competed in a wrestling challenge! But in the end, Team Solar and Galaxy lost, and Cactron slash Flareon were sent home. Also, Froggy was medevaced, and people were pissed about that. All those blisters, other things, not important. Fair enough, 12 are left. Who will be eliminated next? Find out today. So, are we gonna align ourselves with our swing now that we're in the merge? I'll ask him about it later. Besides, we don't know if he has an alliance or not. Needless to say, though, we're gonna have a tough time in merge because it's us versus ten others. I'm sure we'll be fine. Besides, given who left on Galaxy, I doubt they'll last long. Fair enough. Anyways, how are you holding up after Perkley left? Still annoyed. The bitch said she went and talked to me about something and they never did. Dumb bitch. Well, okay then. Also, I why are you keeping me in your alliance? I voted off Mean Shot episodes ago and you know that! So why keep me around even after Ivy Sword left? She was someone you trusted more than me. Hell, you had a chance to get rid of me at the last elimination when we deadlocked! Why didn't you? <sighs> because like it or not, I still consider you an ally to some extent. Yes, I did trust Ivy Sword more than you did. But that doesn't mean I don't consider you useful in the Alliance. Plus, you haven't done much to make me trust you in the first place. I'm not a brick wall, Whimscott. I would have trusted you just as much as Ivysaur had you tried to make us trust you. Would you have trusted me if I tried harder? I really doubt that. Given the fact that you're still here, that implies I still care about you to some extent in the Alliance. I opted to deadlock because I didn't want to cut you or Ivysaur loose. Do you really mean that? Yes, I'm not Heartless Whimsicott. If I was, I'd be, you would be out episodes ago. The fact that I'm not means that I'm still holding out hope for you. You're so naive. Maybe I am, but I'm the naive Typhlosion that helped you get to the fucking merge. You're right. You did help me get this far. But what can I do now to gain your trust? I feel like there's nothing I can do. Be honest with me. Honesty builds trust. I know you want to win this game. I want to as well. But who's to say that we can't work together to get to the end? We just need to trust each other. Can you at least try to do that? Yes, I will try that. That's good. Let's start building that trust. Sounds good to me. Shh. I know I said I wanted to take control of this game. But who's to say I can't do that alone? It's worth a shot at least. Well, it's worth a shot. I don't trust Whimsicott at the moment, but let's see if she can build that trust with me. This is terrible. We lost Flareon. I know, and that Happy Feet bitch is still here over Fire Fluff. God damn it, tonight just sucks. Call me Happy Feet bitch one more time, I freaking dare you. Shut up, Napoleon. I don't want to hear another word coming out of your mouth because all you spew is shit. 
And your insults are any better? You're, you're nothing more than a bully who thinks a little sassy attitude makes her insults okay, not realizing how much her words hurt people. Don't you dare call me a bully. Oh, do I like it when it's thrown back in your face? Too bad, I don't know why your family didn't tell you this growing up, but words like that hurt people. You're a bully! Bitch, don't you cross that line! Or else why you'll attack me and get yourself kicked out? Try it! And Pauline, get out of here while feeling like shit out of the night. And did you ever consider my feelings when you screwed over McCargo and Muna? No! Then why should I give you the same courtesy? Karma's a bitch. Peace off. Make me. And Polian, you are advised to leave that area at once for escalating the situation. Fine. Houndoom, can you please just leave the room a bit? Um, okay. What happened? Um... Forion. All right. Based on the situation, you seem to be upset. Do you want to talk about it? Mm. Very well. But I'm not going anywhere. The cold is nothing to the mighty up striker. Fine. I'll talk. It's something I believe said earlier. How about the bullying comment? Yes, but there's no clue what I'd gone through. Hmm? I was one of the first Pokemon to get the genetic enhancements to survive on Neptune. You think it's easy to be considered a freak by the rest of your family and friends? My parents put me through the program, but the rest of their family were not okay with it. And my friends called all ties with me after I went to Neptune and called me a monster, a freak. They tore me up inside for so long. Not even medication would go for keeping all of my heart that was my depression. The only thing that did help was keeping a positive attitude smiling despite all the shit that went on in my life. So when I'm called fully, it brings up so many scars and reminds me of the dark period of my life. Yes, I have gone too far twice. I acknowledge that. I'm not perfect. But you know what? I'd rather keep this positive attitude up and go back to that dark place where I was an outcast that's depressed ever again. Fuck hell. Sorry. I hate showing this side to strangers. It's fine. I don't think of you in a worse light now that I know of this. Th thank you. Do you need a hug? Please. Alright, come out then. I'll be here for as long as you need it. <sighs> I hate showing this side. But you know what? I'm glad that substrike is there for me. Empoleon, I will make you taste the fires of hell for making the princess cry! Uh, Empoleon, you're so screwed next time. No one messes with my friend. So, what do you want? To talk. We've both been through a lot of shit these last few days, so I figured this would be a good chance to discuss those issues. Fine. Why do you hate not stepping in when things get hectic and instead get upset over it? You could probably fix those situations, so why not? Because the last few times I stepped in, I got my ass kicked in my circle of friends, and that made the situation worse. I don't want that to happen again. I see. It sounds like in that situation, you should have stood up, called them out on their shitty behavior, and forced them to stop by any means necessary. Again, that would make the situation worse. If you're their friend, they would understand why you did what you had to do, either then or eventually. Sometimes you gotta call out your friends in order to make them understand they messed up. I say this as advice for the future, because your solution will also make the situation worse sometimes. Because little action is just as bad as no action. I guess to be fair, I should have stepped in more when things got hectic. Okay, I'll try that next time. But now it's your turn. What the fuck is your deal? I never experienced much interaction in life, unless I have distant relatives every now and again, which even then was rare. Nor was I able to tell social cues or body language all that well. Hell, this is also why I acted the way I did when you got into that chatting match with me a while ago. I didn't know that action would make you upset. 
No, I'm not excusing my actions. I messed up, and I deserve to be punished for messing up. But I never realized how much the eliminations would hurt you until recently. I didn't know that they meant that much to you. And for that, I'm sincerely sorry. I feel like an idiot for not taking that into consideration. Well, at least you're honest. I think it's safe to say that we both both have a lot to learn. Agreed. But you know what? It takes a big man to own up to his mistakes and be honest about themselves. As long as you keep working on improving yourself, I'm sure you'll do fine in life, Miastic. Thanks, Napoleon. I appreciate that. No problem. Now I have to make up for my own mistake. Sounds good. Well, good luck. You too. Jeez, Empoleon, you really messed up this time. Well, at least I can do is try to apologize and make amends for all I did wrong. I'm sorry, Vaporeon. Strange how I learned that lesson from the one person who screwed me over the most, though. Oh, well. Well, shit, that was a close one tonight. Indeed, but, hey, we're safe now, so that's great. Oh, absolutely. I was just really worried for you tonight. Same here. But it's okay now, Gogo. I'm still here. And I'm really glad about that. You tired? Oh, tonight, yes. Okay, how about this? I'll keep an eye on you until I go to sleep, in case you need someone to talk to, okay? I'd like that. Thank you. <laughs> no problem, Gogo. By the way, when did you get that idol anyways? Oh, uh, episode four. It was in a pretty obvious spot, too. I'm kind of surprised no one else noticed it. Yeah. <laughs> anyways, good night. Night. Well, shit, that just happened. Indeed, but hey, we reached Merge, so that's good. Agreed. So my idea for Merge is that we team up, up with your Flames Alliance and potentially recruit one other person to have a shot at getting far in this game. Sounds like a plan. I'm all in. Perfect. In that case, we'll start talks tomorrow, then. The next day. Welcome to the new Alliance. Glad to be here. So what's the plan? Basically, instead of one leader... All of us are the leader. That way, we can all work together to get what we want. And if all goes well, we'll be in the top four. Top five, actually. I was in the middle of talking with someone else we could recruit, but it's likely they'll be joining us soon. Sounds good. So, who's our first target? I propose we cut off the snake of Team Galaxy. No arguments here. That person is trouble. Same. Sounds like a plan. Very good. Despite all that's happened, us five need to stick together. It's us against them now. I guess it also helps that uh, me kicking the shit out of Napoleon also helped, uh, you know, fix the issue. Still hurts though, but you know what? I kind of deserve that for insulting you, Vaporeon, so yeah. Exactly. Alrighty. Exactly. We entered this game strong, and we still have a chance to end it strong. As long as we play our cards right, we can take down the other teams and secure Final Five. Thank you for the opportunity, you two. No problem. Now then, let's chop off the largest head of the Hydra that is our enemies and work our way down. That being... Pangara or Typhlosion. Both of them seem to be threats, so let's do what needs to be done and take them down. Sounds like a plan. Raise, raise, a right, a right. Good work, you two. You seem to be showing genuine improvement since the first week you started training with me, and that is fantastic. Thanks, Mr. Septile. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Kinda of surprised it's only you two today, but I guess it has something to do with the other members of your team having a lawns meeting or something. Oh well, they're loss. Actually, that does raise a question. Subtile, have you ever thought about returning to play another season? Interesting question. Um, as for your answer, not really. I have a family now, and I would have to see if it was okay with them first before we considered it. Plus, I'm gonna be a grandfather soon, since my pride and joy is having a kid. So of course, there's that. Ah, okay. Well, congratulations. Uh, thank you. All right, Goon will shop. The challenge is an hour. Diamonds! Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the merge. From this point forward, anyone voted out will join the jury! Unless you fucking quit. On top of that, you'll still be allowed to train with your trainers until the end of the season. Now then, on to your first challenge as a merge team. This challenge will test your endurance and balance. You'll stand on a buoy of raging water. If you fall off, you're out. Last one standing wins immunity, guaranteed 1 in 11 shot of winning this game. Everyone else goes to elimination, and someone else will be voted out and become the first member of our jury! Alright, let's get started. Let's see. 
Hey, we have a budget for a gift now. Which we... Fuck it, start the challenge. All right. All right, now you're going to move up a bit. It's going to be a little harder. Okay, and good. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Crap, crap, crap. All right, now you're going to move to the top. This will be the hardest part, so get ready. Shit, shit, shit. Alright, we're at the top. Now it gets going for real. We're probably gonna start seeing some fall off pretty quickly. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shit! Shit! The good is out. Crap! Hound Doom is out! Crap, 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 crap! Crap, crap, crap. Crap! Crap! Carnator is out. Oh, Pangoro is out! Four members down! Shit! Diggersby is out! We're down to the final seven here. Shit, shit, shit. Crap! Ursa Ring is out! Well, uh, shit. Didn't expect that to happen. Eh. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, we're down to the final six here. Crap! Your stick is out! Final five. Vaporeon is out, we're down to the final four. <laughs> this triangle is hurting me, but I am the mighty Zap Striker, and I will not be punished by the likes of you, crap. Well then, the mighty Zap Striker has fallen. Final three. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Shit! And Typhlosion is out! We're down to the final two here! Shit. Shit, this is hard. Then drop out. Never! Why? Because I want to be safe. Now how about this? You jump off, and I'll tell people to save you tonight. Um, okay. But, if you win immunity after that, you must give it to me. Deal? Deal. I promise. Alright. Shit. Shit and... Whee! And Whimsicott drops out, so... Empoleon wins immunity! Everyone else will be up for elimination tonight. Yes! Holy shit, I am surprised by winning that challenge. But I'm not complaining, I made it to the next round. Victory for Empoleon. Good job, Empoleon. Now it's time to take out either Pangoro or Typhlosion. Since neither Go Good or I are safe, we have to think of another way to survive tonight's elimination. Crap. Thank you, Dingusby, for accepting my offer. Oh, no problem, Pangora. Anything to help take down Tim the Alexi. But now that works, eh, Dave Lawson? We're working together after all. Indeed we are. But hey, if it helps us reach Final Five, I'm all for it. Excellent. In that case, talk amongst yourselves for a bit. I have a couple of floaters to deal with. Since it seems very likely that Gurgur and Tarantong will be the swing vote, I figured I would try to talk to them. Worth a shot, at least. Okay, Pangoro, why should we vote with you tonight and not against you? After all, your leader did some very, have some very nasty things to say about the Rantar. Because, Gurgur, if you vote against us, Team Luna and Solo are finished. We will be wiped out, and they will be the final five. That means neither of you will get your wish or the money. Plus, that team will force you to vote the way they want you to. At least we're giving you a chance to vote whoever you want. Well, that is true. I'm not certain if we should side with you or not. You sent home Growlithe. You nearly sent me home last night. You sent Gogo to vote. It's really hard to trust you either. I understand. I did do those things to you too. If you want to vote against me, fine. I accept that. But if you keep me tonight, I'll make it worth your while. Bribery. Pathetic. Well, worth a shot. Anyways, good luck, you two. Welcome, everyone, to your first elimination as a merged team. Now then, if anyone has an idol, now would be the time to play it. Okay, I'll read the votes. 
First vote. Pangoro. Meowstick, one vote each. Pangoro, two votes Pangoro, one vote Meowstick. Meowstick, two votes each. Meowstick, hmm. Three votes Meowstick, two votes Essering. Pangoro, three votes Pangoro, three votes Meowstick, six votes left. Meowstick, four votes Meowstick, three votes Pangoro. Pangoro, tied again, four votes each. Pangoro, five votes Pangoro, four votes Meowstick, three votes left. Meowstick, we're tied once more, five votes Meowstick. Five votes Pangoro, two votes left. Mercering, hmm? Five votes, er, er, five votes Pangoro, five votes Meowstick, one vote Ursaring, one vote left. Final vote. The next person voted out in the first moment of our jury. Meowstick. Holy oh, shit. Ah. Uh, how the hell? Fucking damn it! All right, good luck, Team Galaxy. Bye, Meowstic. Works. No problem. Now it's your turn. Coco, zero chance of winning the game. Got a long way to go, big guy. I'm kind of surprised I made it this far, actually. After betraying my cargo, moon, and all that jazz, I thought I'd be eliminated for emerge. But, you know what? I could have done a lot better. Maybe I should have uh, thought a little better about my actions. Yeah, well, that's probably the best way I can put it. I was a shithead. But hey, I made it to the judge merge. Sorry. Sometimes my grammar's a little wonky. And I have a chance to vote for one of my buddies to potentially win, assuming that one of them makes it to the end. I'm gonna miss you, Napoleon. I'm gonna miss you guys. Peace. And here's the votes. Huh, so Tyrantov has the first thing. Nido. Later. So this is the jury house this season. Nice. And with that, Meowstic becomes the first member of our jury. So a Team Galaxy down a member, will they survive or be voted out one by one? And what will Pangoro do to make it go go in Tyrantov's while? Find out next time on Total Pokemon Galaxy Games.